truth of the word and reaching the youth. Saving souls of the old, doing God's work with more to do. And he turning up every week and get lit. Get bigger than church on Sunday. You can tune in and get your fix. Turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. All things means good things, bad things, favorable things, difficult things. God works all things according to the counsel of his will. This is why you have to learn to give God praise in good times and in bad times. Give him praise when you're up. And when you're feeling low, why? Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done and you look back on that thing, you will be able to declare God has worked all things according to the counsel of his will and all things have worked together for my good. Because if you don't know that the property is yours, then you don't know if someone is trespassing. Because the devil will go as far as you let him. And if you don't put signs up that say no trespassing, the devil has no problem stealing, killing, and destroying any area that you let him have access to. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He will become a squatter in any place in your life that you keep vacant and you don't occupy. Inheritance has nothing to do with conduct. See, all my religious people, they begin to cringe when I said that. Yeah, yeah. If I leave something to my children and my children's children, I left it to them because I decided to do so. It has nothing to do with conduct, but religious people don't like that because religious people define themselves by how well they do, about how good they are. But I've come this morning to tell you that you don't get from the outer court to the inner court to the holies of holies because you're good. You get to the holies of holies because the blood of Jesus Christ covers you. That's what gives you access, not because of how good you are. See, we like to sing about the streets of gold as if the only time we're going to get an inheritance is when we get to heaven. And if you adopt that mindset, then you will sit on your hands on earth. And you won't have a great expectation on earth. But I've come this morning to tell you that Jesus died that you may have life and have it more abundantly right now, right here in the earth realm. There are some private things that you need to take care of in private before God can bless you with what you want in public. David, David had to learn how to kill the lion and the bear when nobody was looking before he was qualified to stand before Goliath. And I've come to tell you today that there are some things that God wants to do in your life, but there's a level of maturity that you have to obtain before he releases it. You can't get up here and sing in the choir on Sunday before hundreds if you've not come in here on Tuesday and sing in an empty church. <laughs> You're not ready to get before the people until you've taken care of some things in private, and there's some things that you want God to bless you with publicly. And God is saying, no, you can't get that publicly until you take care of some of these private things. And you know exactly what it is. God lets you occupy when your character is developed. Come here. So God will make your gift sit down until your character stands up. Y'all not ready to hear me preach to you this morning. I, I, I know you got people to say, oh, if he only knew how gifted I was. Oh, he need to put me in that position. Oh, I need to be doing this. Oh, he need to let me do Yeah, 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 yeah. Your gift can do it, but your character can't do it. And so God says, I'm not going to put you anywhere until your character matches up with your gift. We keep fly, sliding back to old habits, old mindsets, old attitudes. And so... Watch this. And God keeps trying to adjust us 
But every time he adjusts us, we slide back. Why? Because we've been walking around wrong so long. Till when God adjusts us to right, right don't feel comfortable. You're telling me that I have to turn the other cheek to somebody that slaps me? You're telling me that I have to pray for somebody that I know don't like me? Come on, you ain't got to say nothing right now. You're telling me that I got to lay on, the, on my face before the Lord for my enemy? you telling me that I got to forgive this person that broke my heart and hurt my feelings? God says, yeah, because I'm giving you adjustment. Come here. Some of the pushing, some of the pulling that you've been feeling, I've come this morning to tell you that it has not been the devil. It has been God trying to adjust you. He's been trying to adjust your life. He's been trying to get you straight so that he can use you. There's somebody in this sacred place called sanctuary. You mad at God because you prayed about something and God is not addressing your pain. He's not working on the area where the pain is. God is addressing what's causing the pain. You're praying about your child, but God ain't working on your child. God is working on you because I wish I had somebody in here. You mad, you mad. You mad because you complaining to God about your marriage, but God ain't working on your spouse. God is working on you because he says this is what's causing the pain. The enemy don't attack people that's only, listen, he don't, he don't attack people he ain't worried about. You remember how when you was in the club and you was drinking and you was smoking and you was running the street and you was doing all those things, you didn't have no problems. I mean, you was ironing your clothes. The party started before the party started. You, see, y'all want to act so saved and spiritual, but I'm trying to help you right here. You, you got the party started. You celebrated your, your birthday all week long. Your birthday on the 15th, but you started on the 1st. And you always had enough money. If you got there, somebody always bought you a little something, something. You ain't have to worry about nothing. I got you, girl. I got you covered. I got you. You ain't worry about it. But as soon as you occupy, as soon as you say, I'm going to live my life for Christ, all of a sudden, everything starts coming at you. Your family start acting crazy. Kids start acting crazy. Started having issues in your body. Is there anybody in here that's going to be real? It's when you occupy. Of the word and reaching the youth, saving souls of the old, doing God's work with holes.